my area of law is agricultural law and restructuring the finances of farmers. Modern agriculture is very complex. You've got the bioscience that's involved. You've got new geopositioning that farmers are using for uh, such things as, as making sure that the right amount of fertilizer and water is given to the plants. You've got very uh, complicated financial structures with high capital intensive type of industries uh, such as seed companies, fertilizer, biofuels. And so it's a very interesting, ever changing environment that I'm in and you never get uh, dulled by it. The people of the High Plains of West Texas are the salt of the earth. Their whole life is built around love of God, love of country, love of their region, and a love of the type of culture that farmers bring to the land. And the fact that your word is your bond and everything that has to do with American free enterprise and the American dream. Well, you know, we've gone through hard times in this part of the world before, and the Depression cotton went down to five cents a pound. Uh, people with, were without jobs and with, were without food. But the thing about people in agriculture is that they always lend a helping hand. Uh, the best advice that I could say, say to people during this time is observe the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. And so if that means wearing a mask or social distancing, whatever inconvenience it might mean, keep in mind that we're all one community and if we work together, there's nothing we can't do. I served as mayor of the city of Lubbock from 1992 to 1996. And then after I uh, left uh, the position of mayor, I was still involved in many different community affairs. Uh, I noticed that we had the Ranching Heritage Center, but we did not have a place to store all of the antique farm implements and tractors that were part of the Lubbock County uh, collection at that time. We started out next to the Wind Power Center in a very small facility. Now, I volunteered there on Saturdays. Uh, I saw it grow up. I'm very proud about what it's doing and I think its future is very bright. And this particular exhibition here will teach children about farming and agriculture and where the food and fiber of the world comes from. This facility is such a jewel for the city of Lubbock and the entire West Texas region. Agriculture is a way of life. You know, that's what is so wonderful about this museum. The, our area, the Llano Estacado, was the last area that was settled in the continental United States. And it was settled by pioneering farmers. The museum is a celebration of the heritage history and culture that agriculture brought to the High Plains of Texas. I just want to congratulate the current board of directors of the museum and tell them what a fantastic job that they're doing. Thank them for their vision and uh, we can only expect bigger and better things in the future.